Hey, this is Annika from Omni. Omni is the business intelligence platform that brings together the trustworthiness of a governed data model and the freedom to instantly extend and iterate on that model, enabling data teams to move fast while empowering the business. I'm going to walk through the process of answering a few questions on the platform. I'm going to start with a built-out dashboard, a built-out model, and show how we can create things from scratch and add things to those model in the course of the analysis that I might be trying to do. So let's start with this dashboard here based off of a fictitious e-commerce business. I've got orders and users and combination of product data in here. And it's very easy for me to add filters on here, drill into the data that I see, or even jump out to other dashboards or even other platforms from this dashboard. So really intended to be a jumping off point. But today I wanna to iterate on this dashboard. I wanna add some more tiles to it. So let's go into the workbook interface. I'll click workbook right here. I'll create a new tab within this workbook to start analyzing in, and then we'll work with this order transactions data set. We can see all of the different tables that have been exposed here, and we can see a combination of fields native to the underlying database, as well as calculated fields that have been built by my data team and aggregations that are being exposed. This can be as curated as you want it to be. It can be straight out of the database, and it's really something that you'll start to build up as you interact with your data model over time. The one other thing I'll call out before we jump in is I've got this default filter here, just helping me remember to exclude returned and canceled items. So let's start with a simple question. I just want to know how many items we've purchased over all of time. So I'll swap into this table view and I can see the SQL that was generated in order to answer this question. Now, if I want to see this broken out by time, maybe we just want to look at the past 30 days of data, and I want to see this grouped out by a couple different time frames. I've got a bunch of options here just based off of that raw timestamp in Omni, but let's go with date for this example. We can see that Omni is going to generate SQL basically just with that minimum query required to answer the question at hand. Now let's visualize this. So by default, it's kind of going to take a guess at what I might want to see. I've got these quick chart selectors that I can toggle around between, and then I can customize by dragging and dropping within the viz spec. Let's leave this as an area chart for now. And now let's jump over and start creating some new objects within this workbook to build queries on top of. So I'm going to duplicate this tab as a starting place and go back into this table view. And maybe alongside my order items count, I'm interested in looking at the total margin. So that's not a field that already exists in my field picker. So in order to quickly make a new calculation, I'll right click on margin and hit sum. And we can see that that's going to add it both to my field picker and into my query pane. One of the core philosophies of Omni is that you shouldn't have to be a super technical person in order to do simple analysis. So we try to let people create calculations, whether it's from the UI, from writing SQL, into the data model, kind of at the speed and in the language that you prefer to speak. So let's visualize this. Maybe we just want to see a group bar chart of these two things side by side. And now let's duplicate this. And we're actually going to add a field a different way. So having taken a look at the SQL that's been generated here, I might just want to edit this. So I'll click, it, click Edit SQL right there. And rather than looking at margin sum and count star, I just want to see the count distinct order ID as order count and I can give that a run. And if Omni is able to parse that SQL that I've written here, which in this case it's able to, it's actually gonna suggest, hey, that's a field that you might actually wanna reuse in your workbook. So just off of raw SQL, I can immediately visualize this and use it in any charts that I'd like to, but I can also make this a reusable field, add it back into my workbook, and now when I exit SQL mode, that's gonna come with me back into my order transactions topic where I now have this order count field that I can use alongside everything else. So just another way that even if your preferred language which is SQL, you can still create things that are going to serve the broader uh, analyst group at your company. Let's do some calculations on here. I know for a lot of folks, it's most comfortable to think in terms of Excel. We have a new beta feature here that I've got turned on for this environment that's going to allow me to perform simple Excel-like calculations. So the first I'm going to try is just right out of the box. If I right click on this aggregate, I have a selection of different options I can do here. Maybe I just want to see the percent of the total number of items across this time period and can add that calculation in. Let's remove that. Maybe instead I want to build something a little bit more custom. So I'll right click here to insert a new column. And for this calculation, I want to do an offset by one week. So I'm going to look at this date here. I'm going to take this 12th. I'm going to subtract out the date one week prior, divide by that. And now very easily, I've been able to create this calculation looking at the percent change from the prior week and can give that name percent change prior week. 
So really easy, whether you like to write SQL, interact with the UI, use Excel calculations to come in here and kind of talk to the data in the way that you most prefer. Now, as I've been doing these things, as I've been creating customized fields from that model there, we'll notice this model changes menu has been tracking these differences from my shared model that everybody has access to. If these become things that I want to make more broadly available, not just for this workbook, I can right click on margin sum, for example, and I have an option to promote that back into the broader shared model so that everybody's workbook now will have access to use that margin sum field. If I'd like to see the code-based representation of what any of this looks like, I can open this up in the IDE. And if we want to see just a diff from what's in the main model, we can see these two fields that I've created so far, margin sum and order count, and how they'd be represented kind of in this YAML-based view. Or I can see them in the broader context of how they exist within this definition of the order items table. Now, as far as interacting with these more built out pieces of content, if I'm looking at a chart like this and I wanna learn more about these specific data sets, maybe I wanna drill into the order count. You also have this interactivity, whether it's at the dashboard or in this tile level, to click into that, look at that order count. And this list of fields here has been curated by my team to give me a good look at more information about order items. But if it's missing something, I wanna learn more. I can go expand out this product info, for example, add a couple more columns in, and we can see that Omni is making that join out to the inventory items or users table as required in order to answer these questions. All right, so let's add all these things to our dashboard now. I don't wanna bring this drill with me, so I'm just gonna back back out of that using my browser's back button, and let's put things onto our dashboard. So, so far, everything I've been doing has just been sort of an ephemeral exploration, but I wanna edit this. I wanna actually save this dashboard. So now if I go back to this dashboard view, I can see everything that I started out with at the beginning of this demonstration, but I can see now these new tiles that I've created appear here alongside them. Um, from here, I can have these same dashboard filters apply to everything I've already created, and it's easy for me to make this an interactive part of that piece of content. If I want to share this with other people, I can simply grab the URL to this dashboard and send that over to them. They'll be able to access it, or they can find it in our content system. I can also schedule this out to my colleagues on a regular basis if I want them to get this maybe on Mondays at 9 a.m. in their inbox to remind them about this kind of top-level order information. I can download individual tiles into CSV or into Excel. I can also do this from the workbook view. And generally just want to be able to use this data anywhere in my workflows. One of the newer ways that you can actually do so is by embedding Omni. So just to pull up an example of that, we've got this embedded into our Salesforce sandbox here. So this is another example, just an iframe of Omni sitting inside a Salesforce. All right, so that was my lightning fast tour of Omni. So to summarize, Omni's modern architecture makes it possible for data teams to immediately start asking questions of their data while iterating on a shared data model that empowers the whole organization without heavy upfront work or needing to slow down. If you're ready to learn more, sign up for a demo on our website at omni.co demo, and we'll see you there. Thank you.